Gallery at Bar Photographics in Abingdon has an amazing exhibition happening this fall featuring award-winning artist John F. Sowers. And here to showcase some of the great artwork on display is Dean Barr. Dean, appreciate you being here. Thank you for having me. Um, first of all, let's talk about this piece we've got here right between us here. This is one of John's plein air pieces called Late Afternoon Shadows. And I was talking about the different shadowing and everything. And the little crow right here has a very special <laughs> significance for, for the artist. Tell us about it that. It does. John envisions himself as the crow now. He uh, puts a crow in each one of his paintings. And they're, it's, a, it's a metaphor. It's almost like adding his signature down here exactly. in the corner. But exactly. it's somewhere in his, in his uh, up-to-date uh -huh. work that he's doing yep. right now. It does. Talk to us. He, he, we got some of the some of his other work, and we're showing those. We're going to be showing those here in just a moment. Okay. But let's talk about the artist. He lived in White Top, Virginia, for a while, and now he's moved back to Maryland. John moved back to Maryland, but for a long time he was a resident of Green Cove up mm -hmm. on White Top. But John's legacy with the Abingdon art scene, he's one of the patriarchs of the modern art scene. He was a founding member of the Arts Depot and was a um, artist in residence at the William King for a number of years. Well, let's take a look at some of his work right now. We've okay. got, se we got several pieces that we'd like to look at. Tell us about this first piece. Uh, this piece is called the March Greening, early March Greening, and it's about uh, springtime coming to Darlington, Maryland. And plain air painting, uh, oil painting, uh, plain air, tell us what that's all about. Uh, plain air is outside, on location, very quickly. Very quickly, <laughs> turning, cranking it out. Yeah. Yep. And next one we have is February afternoon, and I have seen some February afternoons that look exactly like that. This is probably my favorite piece in the show. I love this piece simply because of its composition. It's right. really simple, but it's very powerful all at the same time. And next one is called Puffy Clouds and Bales. And right now, I mean, you could go out anywhere and, 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 you know, the past few days when the sun has been out, it's kind of looked like this. Yeah, this is a representation of Southwest Virginia. Yes. John still spends a lot of time in Southwest Virginia. And this is one of his signature pieces. And there's the crow right yep, there toward the, the center of that bale there. Yep. And then next we got Route 600 to White Top. Yeah, this is the new Route 600 to White Top. This is going up to where John used to live right. in the middle of winter. So, And he yes. lived up there in his ancestral home, basically. Yeah, on, and, on the farm. Fantastic. I, I've seen, you know, when it snows up there, I'm sure it looks exactly <laughs> like that. And, and, and then, of course, Joyous Spring. Yeah, this is probably the largest piece or one of the largest pieces in the show. And this is just a really nice piece that showcases how it looks in the spring. Vibrant colors yep. and it really the spring yep. the spring aspect of that really jumps out at you. And you actually have a uh, meet and greet with him coming up as well. Yeah tomorrow night from yeah. 7 until 9 John will be here and uh, he'll be meeting and greeting his adoring public and hoping that folks will come and, and put a piece in their collection. 85 years <coughs> old but you said he's still very prolific as far as his work is concerned. John hasn't slowed down very much at all. <coughs> Pardon me. You're fine. And uh, he is painting as frequently as he can, and that's every day. <laughs> every day. Every day. Every day. And it's, I, I, I love the fact that he's putting the crows in there. That's like a representation of himself. Yeah, that metaphor that he's using yeah. um, represents his travel from Maryland to White Top and back to Maryland right. and then back to Southwest Virginia. It's as the crow flies. It's exactly. And oh. the, this crow flies. <laughs> <laughs> it flies a lot. Dean, thank you so much. It's my pleasure. John F. Sowers, a great artist. And you can, you can meet him tomorrow night. We got some information for you right now on this big exhibit coming to Dean. Dean Bars Photographics.com, barphotographics.com for more information. The gallery at Bar Photographics is where the exhibit's going to be. If you want information, give that call. Give them a call right there at that number at that reception. And once again, it's happening tomorrow night.